You're, wasn't that a tenant though? Why is he upsetting the city? Why Hello? Hi, Eddie? Yes. Eddie, my name's Danny. I'm looking at some commercial space. I wanted to see if I couldn't lease it from you for the next 15 years or so. Uh, what space would that be? This is what looks like the former laundromat there. Looks like the, okay. the, the equipment's right, been pulled. Right now I'm in the middle of a thing with the county. Thanks for watching. We're interrupting this landlord beatdown to talk about Vegas. Oh, I love that sound. There's nothing like the craps table and throwing these $100 checks down at 3 a.m. Shelly on my arm, cigar in my mouth, and guess what? I play dice. You wanna join us in Vegas? Come out, we're hanging out this January the 13th. The link is in the description. We're gonna take this $2,000, throw it down on seven, and turn it into a couple of hundred grand. Let's be serious for a moment. Have you ever been to an industry conference? Well, this is the best there is. Forget about me, I'm just your master of ceremonies. Who do I want you to hang out with? How about Luke and Lee Williford? 80 laundromats within them. They are building the fastest growing chain in the United States right now. Now, these guys are doing $500,000 a month net, a quarter at a time. It's real, you'll sit with them, you'll hear them speak at the Roundtable Conference. You know Investment Joy, my buddy Brandon Schlichter, he'll be there, hang out with him, watch him speak for an hour if he doesn't run on for a few. From poverty being evicted to millions. Then we've got Chris Atkins, another good friend, who bought my silly DVD all the way in Australia when he was 17. Well, he turned that into free, not laundromats, but free car washes. Free car washes in Los Angeles, imagine that. How about Keenan? You know, following Keenan, this is a guy that I wanna hang out with in my garage, have a beer, and wrench on some Harleys. Speaking of Harleys, how about our good buddy, Joe Dan Reed? He's got nine stores in Kentucky. He started to realize that he enjoys scooping up free laundromats, building them up, and selling them. Nothing wrong with that. Last but not least, among our speakers, the famous ones, my buddy Dan Albrand. You know him as Hot Doggin' with Dan. This guy's a serial entrepreneur. I got him into a free laundromat. Never heard his name until he sent me an email. He grabbed my silly course, did it. He didn't want to retool. He had other things going, other irons in the fire. So guess what? Sold the place. Walked away with 35000 in cash. Guys, if you've never been to a professional conference before, if you're not a dentist, a doctor, a lawyer, a candlestick maker, this is the conference that you need to get your ass to. Vegas, the Circa. Grab your ticket, start writing off every detail. Your plane, your train, your automobile. Hell, buy yourself a new tux. Meet us in Vegas. I look forward to to shaking your hand. Now back to your regularly scheduled landlord beatdown. And I can't rent it out right now. Okay. Things with the county are never good, and, are they, Eddie? And it, and it can't be a laundry anymore either. Oh, okay. Well, that's all I'm because interested in, my friend. Is it, uh, doesn't ha it doesn't have septic enough to handle a laundry anymore. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's only... The guy that was in there screwed over the county and made him mad because he didn't do the improvements they told him to do in the time he told him to do it. So now they're pissed. So they won't let nothing happen. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah, I know. Sorry about that. Not, not sorry that I yep. know, not my fault, but I, I hate to hear it. Right. I, I, I own, know. I own commercial space too. So the, here, here's the thing yep. to back up, Eddie. I, I'm only interested in laundromats. So that's what I've been doing here in the Valley for almost 20 years. And man, right. the, the did you ever operate the laundromat? Yes, we owned it originally and put it in. Okay. And then we sold the business. And that's the second guy to own it after I sold it. Uh, when I, I was able to peer through the glass and I see all of, it looks like the infrastructure is brand new. I can see the old chases, you know, the, the bulkheads, yep. the bulkheads are the old original metal ones with that faux wood top, but it looks like yep. you, you started to, to redo the plumbing and, and most certainly all the ABS is new, all of, all of that. 
And yeah, they, the guy, the guy that was in there that had the laundry, he redone it all. Okay. Well, but, he hadn't, he didn't plan on closing it down, but he thought he could outsmart the county and it backfired on him. I'm Lieutenant Frank Drebin, police squad. <laughs> and don't ever let me catch you guys in America. Well, they're going so to the get, county they're going to get their pound of flesh down. no matter what, you know, at the end of the yep. day, if, uh, if it's, and let me ask this. So there's no way to get it off a of septic. There's no way to run this to the, to the city sewer. They, they want to have, because that isn't city property or in a county on a county Island, they want you to incorporate into the city and then they're going to make us do all these improvements to the commercial buildings Got as it. well as the mobile home park behind Got it. it. And it's like, yeah, no. no, you're talking millions of dollars of improvements. And no, yeah, we're just not going to do that. I appreciate that. My, my interest and my intrigue is always in laundries. That's what I do. We're looking to sign a lease, mm -hmm. stick a bunch of new equipment. Right. I'll spend the money on the washers and dryers. I know how to run a good well, store. Well, what's really upset me is I didn't know about it because my mom actually owns all that. Mm -hmm. And the guy that was in there, for 135 grand, City of Mesa would have brought him city sewer and tied him in. With no, uh, no questions. Ooh. But he didn't want to have to spend the money, so he, you know, just kept playing with the county until yeah, he pissed them off. And now the city won't do it without being annexed. Wasn't that your, wasn't that a tenant though? Why is he upsetting the city? Why can't you step in as the as the as the land agent as the owners? As well, the they, well, no, they won't do it anymore. That was, you know, he decided he just wanted to do the expense of upgrading the septics. Yeah, and yeah. so. That's when it went that way. I get it. Okay. Well, look, I want you so to say now, now it just has to be retail store of some kind. It can't be a lot. Okay. I want you to save my number. My name's Danny D'Angelo. This is my cell phone. Is this yours? Yes. Okay. I'll send you my full contact. My partner are the Poyers. And uh, look, if anything changes, call me first. I'd love to put a laundry in there, okay. but you know, only if obviously we don't have to jump through all those preposterous hoops and that'd make it easy right. for you because then you can you can lease direct with us without having to pull it out or try to put God forbid a retail center in there, Eddie. Yeah. I I appreciate you, man, and and that's your building, yep. your family's building, and unless that changes, yes. reach out and let me know, and I'll happily throw a laundry in there. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Bye bye. You, you know I I've heard these kinds of stories before, and. Mm -hmm. I've most certainly dealt with septic. And in this case, I don't want to burn any bridges. And I also want to make sure Eddie understands where we're coming from and what we do, but mm -hmm. keep an eye on it, you know? And like I said, when I looked okay. at that picture, I'm like, something doesn't pass the smell test here. Why is, you know, they've already spent money on brand new ABS, which is the plastic, the black stuff. And mm -hmm. they redid all of that. All the copper is new, and it makes sense. It wasn't Eddie's money. He built it. His family did. They sold Great. it to this guy, and then this guy tried to pull a bunch of shenanigans. So keep an eye on it. And, mm -hmm. and I will – Eddie, we'll already, Eddie already texted his email address. So, uh, you know, awesome. he'd pro probably like to keep it as a laundromat. I'm pretty sure this hot water heater's got a few more good years left.